And we're back. We, uh, we, 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 we've been gone a little bit, but we're back. The boys are back and we're looking for glory. We're both rocking hats, but Jesse, mine's better. Uh, welcome, everybody. Welcome back to Pop Goes the Zebra. Jeremy the Ref. He's Jesse the Ref. And we are coming to you live and in living color. And that's all the intro I had off the top of my head. Jesse, how the hell have you been? How was Christmas? Take me through your entire life um, from, the la- from the last time we recorded together until this exact moment. Give me the Forrest Gump. Work. That's um, pretty much work, all I. Work. All I do is pretty much work. Uh, hey, it's, I feel you. We had several. <clears throat> I think I had four out of five of my night patrol officers contract COVID, Ooh. all almost at the same time. So From each other, like were they kissing? Uh, we're not sure how it, it got tra- transmitted around. Uh, so I've been very fortunate not to get it. Uh, the other supervisors have been fortunate not to get it. So, But the uh, downside to that is being by myself, I have to do pretty much everything. So uh, I work 12-hour sh- shifts, and I pretty much work all 12. And uh, I'm exhausted. Sounds like you need a new job. <laughs> I really do. Like that's that's not a sarcastic, you know, haha. No, like I legitimately need a new job. I don't think I I took time away from wrestling to try to de stress and work took advantage of that and cycled my schedule to where I was working weekends now. And instead of having like several days off, I've got like one or two days off and a consistent amount of work. See, that's where you fucked up right there is telling the shoot job what your weekend job is is doing schedule wise i i never ever ever let my work my my weekly job know exactly what my weekend looks like for that particular reason it's no it is of no consequence to them what i am doing saturday sunday zero none zilch well it kind of boiled down to uh i was getting heat for always being off on weekends So when I took the time off from wrestling, I just opted, all right, we'll rotate me on weekends to keep everybody else happy. So that way they're not upset. Are you not the supervisor? There's four supervisors. There's two daytime and two nighttime. Uh, The other supervisor, he's really understanding. Um, So we kind of trade shifts back and forth. But yeah, I was getting, it was more or less from my boss boss. Um, Mm. Because I was boss, never boss working. You made the deal with to begin with. So it sounds like they're reneging on the deal. Yeah, it happens. Uh, I am not, not office. Work. I am the boys. I do not care what the office wants. I care about the boys. So nothing you can tell me is going to convince me that the office is right for treating you like that. But that's not what this episode is about. No, we're not going to shit on my job. I will. I'll do it for you. They can't, what are they going to do? Fire me? <laughs> That's that's the problem. I can't get fired right now because. And that well, no, that's a wonderful dick predicament to find yourself in when when you are too useful. All they can do is annoy you because they know at the end of the day they piss you off. They get rid of you. What now? They got to work. They don't want to work. That's why they hired you. Right. Yep. There yep. we go. So I'm hoping. Well, there's some stuff in place uh, that's supposed to come through in the next couple of weeks where we're getting more vehicles. So that way we're not shorthanded vehicles and then we're supposed to be hiring two or three new people. So if I can get those people trained, you know, I can shoo shoo, go, go, go do the things I'll supervise from here. I actually do what my job is supposed to be where I'm supervising, not out patrolling and doing run sheets. So indeed it sucks. It's so, sucks. It, so uh, I, other other than that, Mrs. Uh, Lincoln, what positive things have you been up to lately? Trying to sleep and game uh, as much as I can. Because I've had, what, what, what days off I have had, I've been trying to hop on, uh, currently I'm playing GTA Online. All to you get- got to do is follow the damn train, CJ. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad that there's not been one of those moments playing this game. At least not the online stuff god i gave i gave uh i gave the gta online a go it just isn't my deal i've kind of been out on gta probably since four 
I I really I, haven't cared about anything they've done since four. I you know what for what it is, it's actually a lot of fun. Like I'm trying to do some of the. Uh, they've got a new mission set where you're helping Dr. Dre. So I'm kind of like enjoying that. It's kind of it's kind of fun. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like I, it. It's a fun little escape. Um, the other supervisor, when he and I were able to kind of like balance us being off at the same time, we would always play Sea of Thieves. That was our, that's 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 been our game. That's what we did our Twitch channel with was mostly Sea of Thieves. So like, and then I've kind of dove back into Fallout Four. Mm. Fallout Four is such a good game. It's not Final new Fantasy Seven lately again. Ooh. And I, I've been just sitting there gambling on the chocobo races at the Golden Saucer for like the last two hours. Those damn chocobos. I love it. <laughs> uh, see, it, it's something about going back to the, the classics and just, you know what to expect. You know how it's, you know exactly what you're doing. You got a complete it, game because they hadn't figured out that you could do in-game transactions yet. So they gave, they had to put all of their effort into making this game good, the first and only go, because they, they only get one shot at it. Yeah, but we, if, you know, for that argument and that uh, particular, uh, 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 that particular. Sorry, I got distracted with the Ghislaine Maxwell. Uh, update that just came on my phone uh that argument you can find in our archives about why uh video games from like the ps1 era are always going to be better than stuff from the ps4 and 5 era go go back in our archives check all that out but uh yeah that's late like how was your christmas what'd you do how was santa claus and did he drink all the eggnog uh so the other supervisor has uh two daughters that he doesn't get to see because shared custody Mm. He had them for Christmas, and he was scheduled to work. So me being me, I opted to trade with him. So that way he got to spend time with his family, and I've got one of those you owe me cards in my back pocket. Um, so I worked. There you I go. Did not Make do did not game. did not did not do anything fun for Christmas. Um, unfortunately, like I said, the way my life goes, I don't I don't see family. I don't celebrate Christmas. So. It's just, yeah, I'm sure you had a lot more exciting than I did. A couple Christmases. Um, we had a quiet Christmas here because uh, it's our first Christmas together, you know, and, you know, in the apartment and all that stuff, which I was supposed to take the Christmas tree down today and did not get that done. Ooh, that'll, that's going to have to happen. Ooh. Now, I, it, I have, I've, I've taken on a few projects since uh, we last spoke uh i've been doing uh uber eats on the side making nice money up here like literally i sit at this desk and i play video games and then when something goes off like a firefighter or an emt i run out the door and get it done real quick and come back unless i get caught out there on another delivery on the way back and then you know and i do that for a few hours just you know extra walking around cash put it aside for a rainy day sort of thing so i've been doing that but uh just that and going to basketball games at the high school and uh we didn't do anything. I didn't do any bookings in December. Did I do a December booking? Yes, I did. We did uh, Warrior uh, in Chicago. Uh, but mainly just uh, chilling out on New Year's, watching Cobra Kai. That was that was mostly what I've been up to, just working in Cobra Kai. Uh, Johnny, Lawrence uh, is, I do Johnny Lawrence is still the hero. Gotta ask you, uh, have you been watching? watching the uh, book of boba fett i have i have i haven't seen the the recent episode but i've had the uh the spoiler for it and i'm just like ah well i'll probably toss it on here in a little bit just to watch it but uh i've been i've been pretty impressed with that especially kind of seeing his backstory coming out of uh the sarlacc pit so i'm just like oh man this is they're doing they're doing stellar work keeping Star Wars alive. They're doing like, stellar work serious. resuscitating Star Wars after the debacle that was eight and nine. Oof. Oof. I, you know, you know, I still haven't seen nine. 
I have well, yet like, to bring myself to watch. Let it. me let me let me re- let me walk that back. The de- it's more like the debacle of eight. I cannot hate on nine because eight is really where it came off the rails and there was no retrieving it. So like, and there are those that I know. Oh, I liked episode eight. I like that. That was good. You are the minority, and you need your head examined. First off, secondly. If, if you had a problem with eight, you're going to have a problem with nine because of the results of what they had to work with coming out of eight. So like, yep. I really, I knew nine wasn't going to be good because they had nowhere to go because of eight. So, you know, it is what it is. Hence we get the, somehow Palpatine has returned. You should not have a line like that in episode nine that where you're trying to end this whole thing. That should not be the driving line of your of your promotional. <laughs> they uh, pretty much uh, somehow, yeah. But the bed, again, has, the bed was the bed was shat like no the repeatedly. Bed was shat. Something died in it, and they hadn't, and they didn't uh, they didn't find the body for several days. <laughs> that is how, that is what happened there. But um, I recently saw the new Scream movie. Um, for me, I'm a diehard Scream fan. I love the ghost face character. I think it's right up there with the Michael Myers and the Jason Voorhees and things of that nature in the horror genre. Uh, right now, I still think that the the franchise in terms of excellence goes one two um i'm gonna give the nod to five because they tried some stuff uh simply put the the kill scenes were a lot better in five than they were in four uh which is why four takes the seat step back but then i would say all right so i'm gonna go one two three four five (laughs) in descending order no one two five four three i'm sorry one two five four three because there's no excuse for three Three was garbage. Three was like a dark humor Scooby Doo movie. I I feel like I had seen three, and I think that may have been the last one I had seen. I hadn't seen four. I hadn't the seen last five. one a lot of people saw. But uh, going to the box office right now, it, five is doing well. Um, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody that hasn't seen it yet. So uh, go see it uh, if you are a fan of Scream. Um, yeah, I, I would I would put this one in third in third place. Nothing's ever going to top one and two. Uh, one and two were were just it. But yeah, um, yeah. Um, did you did you happen to see Spider Man? Oh yeah, I did see Spider Man. Yes, 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 yes. I did see Spider Man. I forgot about oh, that. So I good. was. I still don't I want to spoil in, it. I know. I don't either. I. I was in DC the day after it came out and I made sure like at some point I was like, all right, I'm going to go to the movie theater because I don't trust anybody on the internet. Oh, like I already I had the few gymnastics to stay away from my phone and the internet that day. The few things that I knew about, I was like, okay, there was, there's the three Spider-Men. There's the certain villains that are coming hey, spoiler, back. Bro. Like, all right. That was pretty much laid out for everybody. Like, Oh well, how are they going to do this? See, that's the, that's the thing. I like, called the, the whole biggest... movie. I'm going to be completely honest. I called the whole movie from start to finish uh, about six months before it came out. Uh, and my buddy Zoran, who you will meet on Saturday, we'll get to that in a second. My buddy Zoran will attest to that. I said, the finish is going to be this. Here's why. The reason for this whole thing is going to be this. Here's why. And I called the whole thing whole thing Mm. but i had i had to go see it uh because a friend of mine was coming in town coming into the area to uh stay the night so he could go do the grapples for the uh the evil empire um so i had to go see it so i could chat that up with him on the on the uh the car ride and we could swap our our theories because he's a spider-man just like me i was gonna say i could imagine the conversations with him about that movie alone i would have loved to have been in that car just to hear him go on about it uh, well like, the problem, honestly what did, what did he think of it he loved it well but again he's gonna have he has a deeper knowledge of spider-man and a lot of things for that matter than i ever will yeah. i admit that my not most of my knowledge of spider-man comes from the 90s cartoon 
that's kind of the basis of most of my knowledge. Um, but uh, when I wasn't bouncing his head off of a dashboard for his bad dad jokes, um, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, we, we had some good conversations. He liked it. I liked it. Um, we tried to go see it a second time. Just didn't work out on the, on the. Yeah. Lock o meter. But uh, that was, that was kind of it. But uh, yeah, just between this, that, and the other, I've been kind of keeping busy uh but uh and the the train keeps rolling because uh well we're busy again next week aren't we there jesse yeah if anybody could pull me out of retirement for a favor <laughs> uh you know sometimes you 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 have an opportunity fall in your lap you got to make the most of it uh we are talking of well, course about uh we whenever i decide to edit and get this video out the saturday following it the 22nd of january warrior wrestling is invading south bend indiana first show outside of the state of illinois for warrior wrestling main event will be the machine brian cage taking on the warrior wrestling champion will osprey in the main event. Oh man. And Jesse, yeah, you're you are bright and bushy, bright eyed and bushy tailed, ready to watch all that happen. Because uh, Jesse will be making his Warrior Wrestling debut on Saturday alongside myself and the illustrious Mr. Justin King. Yeah, that's uh <laughs> that's a trio right there. Yeah, you know, uh, I roll deep. My yeah, squad rolls deep. That's what I said. I, I'm looking forward to it because, like, this will be the first show uh, Bones and I will ever have worked together. This is the first time you and I are actually going to be on the same show together. So it's uh, it's going to be something. I'm not looking forward to uh, the drive up, but you know, it's not going to be as bad as driving to Chicago. No, I hope. No, le- way less traffic. Way less. Yeah. Traffic. Yeah. And so it's like I'm I'm looking forward to it. Um, just because you obviously sent me the card and seeing everything that's on there, I'm just like, wow, this is, uh, and to, and to be doing what I'm going to be doing, I'm just like, all right, all right, I see what you're doing, <laughs> trying to tempt me to come back full time. No, that wasn't, that wasn't it at, at all. Just you know, if you're driving all that way, you're gonna you're gonna earn your gas money. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm, de- I'm definitely looking forward to it not not talking about any card subject to change not going to talk about anything but uh oh you, no, can, I'm, you can sit there and say that all you want man i got i got all the rights and will to actually do it so we're gonna sit here and we're gonna run down the card a little bit and plug the show because we're both on it that's what we're gonna do ah let's see we got a lucha scramble featuring uh, Gringo Loco, Sam Adonis, Aramis, amongst others. We've got Brian Pillman taking on the last real man, Silas Young, fresh off of his time at Ring of Honor. Oh, man. Uh, Mil Mortes will be taking on the Beast Man. Uh, I don't know who to take in that one, I'll be honest. The, the, those are That is a lot of beef that's going to be in that ring. I, I hope Merle uh, brought his uh, double wide, double deep, double uh, double reinforced ring. Uh, Myron Reed versus Casey Navarro. Oh, man. That's going to be just... <laughs> Rohit. Anything My- I was like, anything Myron Reed's in, man. Yeah. Rohit and Warhorse. Anthony Warhouse. Henry will take on Filthy Tom Lawler. Oh. That's that's gonna be a grab fest. Dante Martin and Sky Blue are gonna team up against the real life couple of Kylie Ray and Isaiah Velasquez, and of course, as we mentioned, the main event: Brian Cage and Will Osprey for the Warrior Wrestling Championship. It will be available on Fight TV, but we do recommend that you get out to the Bendix Arena in South Bend, Indiana, and go check that sucker out. And Jesse, um. There's another reason why you should get out to 
Warrior Wrestling in South Bend, Indiana on January 22nd. Do you know why that is, Jesse? Do you know why that is? You're you don't so know excited. why it is, but I'm leading you on like you should know why it is. But I'm going to tell you why it is and why it is because you had mentioned to me uh, when we were talking about doing this that you were upset you weren't going to get to do something. Well, I did some digging and I discovered that you're going to get to do something after all. For all of our Chicagoans out there that swear by it, there is a Portillo's 10 minutes from the arena. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> So oh yeah Portillo's fix at warrior wrestling you can show up with your chocolate cake shake and get down and get funky like a monkey oh i'm gonna be so wrecked yes <laughs> we're starting Fantastic. early here <laughs> oh man Woo. i've not seen you this happy since you reached in your pocket and found some candy true story <laughs> <laughs> i don't know it felt like candy <laughs> laffy taffy <laughs> something about these gummies man they're so tasty oh i've got a story oh boy. i've got a story having nothing to do with uh well actually no you know what i can't tell that story on here because i don't want to get killed so I'll tell you offline. How's that? Yeah. But anyways, so that's what we got going on for uh, this weekend. That'll be the 21st of January. Like I said, Bendix Arena, South Bend, Indiana, about 10 minutes away from the local Portillo's. Get your tickets now or watch it on Fight TV if you can't make it. But uh, yeah, we got all sorts of stuff going on. Then, of course, in February, we're going right back into the right back in our stopping grounds we're going to head up to cicero stadium and we're going to try to pack that sucker out already announced the work horsemen are going to take on those chicken farmers them boys the briscoes they are going to be there in a tag team contest something tells me that anything and everything not bolted down is going to come into play so again get your tickets ready for that as well Dude, it's getting ready to get wild and getting ready to get hairy over here at Warrior Wrestling. Yeah. Oh, I, uh, funny enough, I was scrolling Reddit and somebody's been posting the matches and the card for that show on the um, February. And a lot, there's a lot of people excited for that show. People who have apparently never been to Warrior, never watched Warrior, seeing what that card is. They're looking forward to it. Hmm. Well, uh, hopefully they get their tickets or watch on Fight TV. <laughs> God, I sound like just a sh seamless shiller out here right now, just out here throwing the stuff. You know, see, that's that's the thing. When you really care about a show, you'll do everything you can to make sure everybody see it. Ghislaine Maxwell is no longer protecting the names of eight men involved in Jeffrey Epstein's operation. <laughs> So do we want to take uh, odds on how quickly she comes down ill mysteriously? Uh, she's going to commit suicide by shooting herself twice in the back of the head. Yep. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We're calling it now. Uh, do, do, do the names get out first? That's the real question. Does she live long enough to say the names? Or does, uh, get, I mean, or does do, do, do the killers <laughs> get to her first? Well, it's interesting that you said it was eight male names. Mm -hmm. Or it was just eight uh, names in general? Just eight names. Convicted sex trafficker Ghislaine Maxwell is no longer protecting the names of... Oh, it did say eight men. Eight men involved in Jeffrey Epstein's operation. Ah, like I said, there's a lot more to that. So... Let's see uh, what happens. Yeah, well, that, that's the thing. Like, okay, ha, has she given up the information? It's on a hard drive. Somebody's got a recording of it, just not being released. Or is she literally yeah. holding off until... Yeah. We're going to find out, because as I understand, it was sealed documents, and they're about to be unsealed. Hmm, that place that they're being held suddenly catches on fire one day. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure they got backups that will also mysteriously catch on fire. Not that I want to sound cynical or rehash 
Well, maybe I do want to rehash our conspiracy theory episode. I did say I'm sitting, that. I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here thinking like, man, we're we're tiptoeing right back in. Well, I do want to do theories. another conspiracy theory episode. Oh, I do. So much fun with that. And I'm upset that our tinfoil hat didn't make it clearly into the recording. So we may have to do a part two of that in the coming weeks. But um, I don't want to uh, commit to anything. I want to have some fun with this. Uh, we're coming up on our one year anniversary already. That's kind of crazy, too. Been doing this for a year. Yeah. Well, it's like we've had to have something to do. Yeah. <laughs> Could be worse. Well, it's not like that Zebra Talk podcast is around. So, I mean, we got to create something for somebody to watch. Ooh, I said it. I said it. Ooh. Ooh said well, it. you know. Words. Oh, no. When, well, unfortunately, when you um, get canceled in the court of public opinion, Sorry. <sighs> yeah. I'm not, well, not Garfield fan gonna... anyway. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um more like normal. <laughs> God damn you. Womp, 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 womp. <laughs> uh yeah. So my phone's gonna blow up. Dude, I can't believe you did that. Well, you know. Yeah, you and me both. Like Who's I try to ships and there's too many I boats try in to, the water. I try to tiptoe around it, but you know. Hey, you know, know when 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 your goals in this business shift dramatically over the last 90 days, you start to not care anymore about ruffling feathers and protecting egos mostly that last part protecting egos for me it's not so much that i just i was very notorious for just being a shithead when i was younger and generating lots of unnecessary heat so i'm trying to be a lot smarter about it even regardless of higher potentials or whatnot i just i'm trying not to be that guy that's ruffling feathers like i I said I try. Okay, I have the moral compass of a cat. While my intentions are good on the surface, they're pretty much just layered with pure and unadulterated evil. Yep. Good. Let I, it flow through you. <laughs> dark, side, dark side's better anyways. Something, something. Dark side, something, 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 something teriyaki something. chicken. <laughs> teriyaki chicken. It all revolves back to Star Wars. <laughs> it really does. Oh, oh God. Oh no, but so, um, going forward here, we're gonna try to to get some uh, get some good brothers and sisters on here again. We're gonna tell some stories. We're gonna swap some some uh, conspiracy theories we may do a watch along or two of our favorite movies just because they're our favorite movies you never know uh but jesse i believe that after all this time and all this chit chat and all of this just haberdashery i think it's time for you to give us the weekend safety briefing before we go back to the work week well considering it's a you know for some people it's a three-day weekend yeah as it is, you know, there's the uh, not adding to the population. Don't do it. Because considering where I'm at right now, there's a lot of people being snowed in with nothing better to do. Got to stay warm somehow. Uh, don't subtract from the population, which don't is key for us not to be out driving because, you know, uh, while checking somebody into the boards on a hockey rink is nice checking somebody into the guardrail at 70 miles an hour on the yeah, interstate they do it forever box is not a good idea <laughs> no right to the forever box so don't don't add don't subtract and please if we have to have the safety briefing on monday on the holiday it's gonna be a bad time for everybody well with that being said this is the crew of pop goes the zebra 
happy to be back happy to be live and in living color happy to just be here man wishing everybody on earth a good night and we'll see you next time and oh by the way how about them cowboys (laughs) (laughs) we'll see you next time take care everybody (laughs) unless you're cowboys fans you won't be back we just killed it (laughs) 